new discovery concerning the moon. Our Earth's moon wandered off its axis billions of years ago, according to a new study by Southern Methodist University. A new study published in Nature magazine reports discovery of a rare event that Earth's moon slowly moved from its original axis roughly 3 billion years ago. Planetary scientist Matt Siegler at Southern Methodist University in Dallas and colleagues made the discovery while examining NASA data known to indicate lunar polar hydrogen. The hydrogen detected by orbital instruments is presumed to be in the form of ice hidden from the sun in craters surrounding the moon's north and south poles. Exposure to direct sunlight causes ice to boil off into space, so this ice, perhaps billions of years old, is a very sensitive marker of the moon's past orientation. An odd offset of the ice from the moon's current north and south poles was a telltale indicator to Siegler and prompted him to assemble a team of experts to take a closer look at the data from NASA's Lunar Propulsion uh, Prospector and Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter missions. Statistical analysis and modeling revealed the ice is offset at each pole by the same distance, but is exactly opposite in directions. This precise opposition indicates the moon's axis, the imaginary pole that runs north and south through its middle, and around which the moon rotates, shifted at least six degrees likely over the course of a billion years, said Siegler. So, discovery of the lunar pole wonder gains the moon entry into the extremely exclusive club. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. The only other planetary bodies theorized to have permanently shifted location of their axis are Earth and Mars, Saturn's moon Enceladus, and Jupiter's moon Europa. What sets the moon apart is its polar ice, which appears to effectively paint out the path along which its poles moved, according to James Keene, University of Arizona. This was such a surprising discovery we tend to think that objects in the sky have always been the way we view them, but in this case, the face that is so familiar to us, the man on the moon face, changed, Siegler said, who also is a scientist at the Planetary Science Institute, Tucson, Arizona. He said, billions of years ago, heating within the moon's interior caused the face we see to shift upward as the pole physically changed up uh, its positions. It would be as if the Earth's axis relocated from Antarctica to Australia. As the pole moved, the man on the moon turned his nose up at the Earth. The discovery is reported in the article Scientific Journal Nature, Lunar True Polar Wonder Inferred from Polar Hydrogen, Siegler Primary Co-Authors as Astrophysicist Richard S. Miller, Professor, University of Alabama, Huntsville, and Planetary Dynamicist James Keen, a graduate student at the University of Arizona. Very few planetary bodies known to per 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 permanently shift their axis. Now, planetary bodies settle into their axis based on their mass. A planet's heavier spots leans towards its equator, lighter spots towards the pole. On the rare occasion, mass shifts and causes a planet to relocate on its axis, scientists refer to the phenomenon, phenomenon as true Polar Wander. Discovery of lunar polar wander gains the moon entry into the extremely exclusive club. The only other planetary bodies theorized to have permanently shifted location of their axis are Earth, Mars, Saturn's moon Enceladus, and Jupiter's moon Europa. But uh, I've also had a, a, an article saying that even the sun turns six degrees. Now, what, what causes, though, we don't know. What sets the moon apart is its polar ice, which appears to effectively paint out the path along which its poles moved. Moon's axis likely started relocating about 3 billion years ago, scientists believe. On Earth, polar wander is believed to have happened due to movements of the continental plates. 
Polar wonder on Mars resulted from a heavy volcanic region. The moon's change in mass was internal, the shift of a large single mantle plume, ancient volcanic activity some three and a half billion years ago, melted a portion of the moon's mantle, causing it to bubble up towards its surface like goo drifting upwards in a lava lamp. The moon has a single region of the crust, a large basaltic plain called Pro. Kelarum, where radioactive elements ended up as the moon was forming, Siegler said. This radioactive crust acted like an oven boiler heating the mantle below. Some of the material melted, forming the dark patches that we see at night, which are, received, which are ancient lava, he said. He said this giant blob of hot mantle was lighter than cold mantle elsewhere. This change in mass caused Procalarum and the whole moon to move, he said. Over time, the axis shifted 125 miles or 200 kilometers, about half the distance from Dallas to Houston, or equal the distance from Washington, D.C. to Philadelphia. Moving 125 miles over a billion years means the moon would have wandered at a rate of one inch every 126 years, or one centimeter every 50 years. That distance is a big deal on the moon, which is only about a quarter of the diameter of Earth, Siegler said. Neutrons can indicate the presence of water or ice. Polar wonder explains why the moon appears to have lost much of its ice. Siegler compares true polar wonder to holding a glass filled with water. Most planets are like a steady hand holding a glass. Their axis does not shift and the water stays put. The planet whose mass is changing is like a wobbly hand, causing its axis to shift and the water to spill out. Similarly, as Earth's moon changed its axis, much of its ice ceased to be hidden from the sun and was lost. Co-author Richard Miller mapped the moon's remaining ice by using data from NASA's Lunar Prospector mission, which orbited the moon from 1998 to 99. The presence of ice is inferred by measuring the energy of neutrons emitted from the lunar surface. Instruments on NASA's satellite, including a neutron spectrometer, measured neutrons liberated from the moon by a rain of stellar particles scientists call cosmic rays. Low energy neutrons indicate the presence of hydrogen, the dominant molecule in water and ice. Siegler and his colleagues said the map shows four key features. First, the largest quantity of hydrogen is offset from the current rotation axis of the moon by roughly 5.5 degrees. Second, the hydrogen enhances enhancements are of similar magnitude at both poles. And third, the asymmetric enhancements do not correlate with expectations from the current thermal or permanently shadowed environment. And lastly, and most significantly, the spatial distributions of polar hydrogen appear to be nearly antipodal. Lunar ice is ancient time capsule, may hold answers to deep mysteries. Siegler's discovery opens the door to further discoveries around an even deeper question, the mystery of why there is water on the moon and on Earth. Scientific theory surrounding the formation of the solar system postulates water could not have formed much closer to the sun than Jupiter, Siegler said. We don't know where the Earth's water came from it appears to have come from the outer solar system well after the Earth and Moon formed, he said. Ice on other bodies like the Moon or Mercury might give us a clue to its origin. The fact lunar ice correlates so well with true polar wonder implies that it predates the Moon, the motion, Seeger said, making the ice very ancient. The ice may be a time capsule from the same source that supplied the original water to Earth, he said. This is a record we don't have on Earth. Earth has reworked itself so many times, there's nothing that old left here. Ancient ice on the moon could provide answers to this deep mystery, he said. Other co-authors of the scientific paper include Matthew Launville, David A. Page, Isamu Matsuyama, David J. Lawrence, Arlen Krotz, and Michael Poston. This is from Southern Methodist University on FIS.org. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.